Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I'm a new owner of the Tesla Solar Roof. And in this video, we're gonna take an up close look at the Tesla Solar Roof Tiles version three. If you find this video useful and ultimately decide that Tesla Solar is right for you, I'll include a referral code below that you can use to save $500 on your purchase. Let's get into it. Even after doing lots of research prior to installation, I still had questions about how these tiles would really look. Here's a picture that I snagged of a solar roof tile sitting in a box out in my yard. This tile had been damaged and scuffed a little bit and wasn't actually used as part of the installation, but I was finally able to get a really up close look at it. So firstly, let's talk about the size. So this tile measures about 15 inches wide by 45 inches long, and it's a little less than a quarter inch thick. Now, note that there are two flavors of solar tiles. There are passive ones that don't have any PV, photovoltaics, and there are active ones that do. In this picture, we have an active tile. If we zoom in and look along the edge of the tile, you can see that there's a faint demarcation that indicate where the active portion of the tile is. And to make it a little easier to see on your screen, um, I'll go ahead and, and mark it up here in orange. For me, the question that I was really after trying to answer was, do the tiles really look uniform? Can you really not tell the difference between the active ones and the passive ones? And standing a foot away from the tile, um, I can tell you that the answer is yes. Now, if we zoom out, here's a picture of the corner of my house. On the left-hand side, on the plane of the roof that has the chimney and some of those vents, those are all passive tiles. There's no PV on, on any of them. And on the right-hand side, above my front door, all of those tiles have PV. They're the active tiles. And you can see that from street level, here we're about maybe 20 feet away, the roof really does look uniform. So as a, as a consumer and as someone that was a little bit nervous before the install, if that would really be the case, I was both happy and relieved that it was. And here's yet one more perspective uh, of my roof. And again, you can see that there's my chimney on the left-hand side and there's the front door. Um, and so overall, there's a mix of the active and passive tiles and it, it really does look uniform. Here's a picture of the tiles once they're installed on the house. Here we're looking at the threshold just above my back door. One of the other questions that I had was if the roof was going to look shiny or, or glossy. So here's a picture of the roof under cloudy conditions. And in my opinion, I think it looks fantastic. I think the curb appeal is great. And I really like the overall aesthetic of the roof. In contrast, here's a picture of the roof under sunny skies. And in this case, you can see that when it is really sunny, the roof definitely does appear slightly shiny. I think this picture captures it actually fairly accurately. I'd say it's similar to other metal roofs that I've that I've come across. The last thing I wanted to show was after the roof was installed, I did find some broken tile fragments in my driveway that I snapped some pictures of. And I think it helps capture and show um, just how thick it is and also highlights the fact that these tiles are made out of glass. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.